Welcome, pet lover. It's your pet lover's read. This is for the end of November 2021. Use the heart spread here, which I normally use in a love and relationship reading. I do uh, every sign every week, Monday through Saturday. And um, for this is a general read. It doesn't matter about your sign. So if you resonate, if you're a pet lover, um, I feel like this might be for you. And I'll use the heart spread and the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck here um, to look at your relationship with the pet that's on your mind. It doesn't necessarily have to be the one that's with you. I'll say the same thing I do in the romance reading. Uh, they don't even have to be alive. Um, it's going to pick up on the one that's uh, on your mind. That's it. And see if we ask the name and light, love and light spirit. Can you give us guidance here? Only in our greatest good. Um, in some way that is helpful. All right. Hanged man. This is your energy in and around pets, I'll say, um, here in this uh, end of November time frame, uh, where your mind is at, where your heart is at, where you're at, in and around pets in general. I say it that way because I'd like to detach this particularly uh, from your relationship here, in this case with the pet that's on your mind. So kind of get an idea where you're at here. So, you know, uh, having had pets, um, maybe this is a time when you're in some kind of transition or in your life or with your housing. Maybe you're not certain about how long you're going to stay somewhere. Uh, maybe there's regulations. Maybe the money has gotten you into a situation that's not pet friendly. Something like this comes to mind, and that could be past energy too here, but it's, try, it's supposed to be asking, this is your energy, kind of where are you at now? Um, so let's see what the, the pet that's on your mind. Similarly now, we're looking at your pet's energy, wow. So possibly literally a Pisces if you know the birth time of your pet. Uh, but this would be a sensitive creature of any sort. Um, to me, it implies mammals, not to disrespect reptilian pets uh, here. But with the high priestess, I do think, you know, um, yeah, this is a, honestly uh, would be a pet that's a very uh, loving and sweet kind of pet, not aggressive in any way, dog, cat, any animal. Um, let's see how you're feeling about your pet with this hanged man energy. I might clarify that hanged man energy. The chariot. Now this is a powerful card. It's called Major Akana here. Um, it speaks to uh, some kind of triumph, a moving in triumph. It really speaks about as if you're, if you believe in spirit, you know, your angels and guides themselves are cheering you on. And it, uh, to me, whenever I see the chariot in a heart spread reading, um, it's also the energy of feeling like an alignment. And you may feel, and with the High Priestess, again, works with this wonderfully, that this pet is like a soulmate, honestly. I don't know if that sounds weird to people. It shouldn't. I mean, they got souls, and they surely uh, could be soulmates, you know. We all know the, how meaningful the relationship is between both, you know. I may not have words to talk about it. Eight of Wands, and this is their energy now and how they react around you. <laughs> this is you coming home from work or whatever, and they're just always, no matter if they're half dead, no matter what, they're up and all over you and happy. Eight of Wands are positive, Eight of Wands are actions. Um, so you have this very normally peaceful, this is a placid animal. They would sit with you in your lap, quiet, that kind of thing. Um, but in any kind of absence, you know, Eight of Wands often is about that absence energy. It can be long distance. Maybe you're away from your pet. I'm sorry if that's the case. Uh, uh, you could be, honestly, this could be anything from uh, being in long-term care after hip surgery to uh, having to take a time out for some reason um, it, to be somewhere maybe you couldn't have your pet and... Um, this Pisces could also be representing someone like taking care of the pet, that's the case. Uh, but they might share an energy with the pet, which is maybe why they're taking care of it. Um, and these ones are coming at you, see, the way they're pointing. So um, this is a pet that it, 
expresses, I know they all do, this would be like an exaggerated exuberance, uh, and I imagine particularly around seeing you, um, and this just gives you the feeling always of coming home, coming home with Cherry, and I'm coming home, yes, Three of Cups, this is how, this is your advice from Spirit in interacting with your pet. I gotta tell you guys, I get the feeling someone's taking care of your pet, uh, something like that, and as advice from spirit, this has nothing to do with, you know, anybody, uh, three parties cheating. It has to do with the emotions, though, and cups, and three parties uh, basically getting along and taking action. Three is Gemini, it's the third house, it's very active energy. Um, and it's very much, to me, coming as an advice from spirit, it's like, kind of like, allow other people to help you allow other people to love and have feelings for this pet like you do that's a kind of a kind of maybe specific sorry but go that way sometimes now i don't want this to be a bad thing because it shouldn't but now your pet is looking here at the high priestess so let this be reassuring your pet is emotionally very happy also with your person now, as soon as they see you, they're going to light up like a fireball and be all over you, no doubt. But their Knight of Cups, you know, their Mars energy, emotional energy, is very comfortable with this person. It's not saying they want to be with them more than they want to be with you, but it does show that they are emotionally bonded because a Knight would take action. Um, so, to me, it shows that they also feel very comfortable with them because... Um, I gotta tell you, it's got more dog energy to it, uh, because it, to me it's also kind of protective, so maybe this animal was also kind of protective, like always you had the feeling they were kind of watching over you in some way, um, probably quietly, I would say. Um, now let's get the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole, the Hierophant card, and normally a lot of times I'm going to say this is going to be about some kind of marriage. But this is the advice for the relationship as a whole, and it's the core of the heart spread that begins to take shape here. And um, it carries a lot of weight with me. It's a Taurus energy, wherever that is. You could look in your chart. You know, there is synastry with animals, if you're ever interested, particularly if you, my God, if you knew the time birds, it'd be a miracle. It'd be interesting to me, even, I tell you. Uh, but it's going to be there. It's going to be profound with an animal you love. Um, but so in terms of like sinistry here um, something with Taurus that's kind of this fixed energy um, it gives me the sense that it spirit is saying everything is solid and I'm not really sure it's saying that this animal is gonna like come back to you but it is saying that everything is solid and um, the, the existence is at the highest level, the Hierophant. It's a very high octave, okay? This is not low uh, level energy, you know what I mean? It's not uh, dirty or mean or uh, selfish or petty. You know, this is a very high functioning energy, very high vibrational energy, you know? Um, so, it really what it tells me is Spirit's telling you now that they're being very well taken care of, whatever the case may be. And for the outcome, the Queen of Wands. Now, hmm, has Leo energy attached to this card because of the lion's heads on the throne there. And um, very well could be Leo energy coming over this Taurus energy. As an outcome, it's a really positive outcome, particularly if you're a fire sign, if you can identify or sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Uh, fire energy strong in your chart um, particularly if that happens to be in your sixth house or um, you may have synastry with your person here uh, I'm sorry your pet which is like a person same difference right um, so uh, maybe you know your composite sun's in the sixth house you have energy there Venus in the sixth house of love um, has to do with love and bonding and the way people love and bond in relationships same with an animal and I got to say, of course, you know, you notice not only Leo, the lions, but you got the cat there, too. So it brings into the cat energy. Cats can be protective, too. You know, they kind of watch over and 
you know, as some people have found out to their dismay, they can be aggressive. Um, so, um, let me know, guys, if that uh, relates to you at all and uh, how you feel about this. Um, if you can leave um, any kind of message, it's good here. Uh, comments, good. Uh, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you can think of anywhere to share this where it might fit in on social media, please feel free. I could use the help, frankly, and uh, please subscribe if you're interested in future readings or the love readings or the soul family read I do every day, more for manifestation and spirituality. Um, it, many people relate to that if you're not actively looking for love or anything or uh, in, interested in your love life information. So um, thank you guys.